Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. This video is how to stockpile food one, two, or three weeks. Don't waste your money or overbuy. Okay, so I was thinking about stockpiling today. And so it's possible that nothing bad is going to happen. Absolutely nothing bad is going to happen. It's like chicken little. The sky is falling and absolutely nothing's going to happen. Or it could be that something's going to happen, but it's not going to be that bad. You know, we can get by, you know, uh, the number three possibility is, is out of the blue, something's going to happen. Like uh, the boy who called wolf. Okay, wolf, 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 and then finally there's a wolf. And then the fourth possibility is something really, really bad is going to happen. So a lot of people who are preppers uh, kind of fall into the last category. Something really, really bad is going to happen, and we don't know what is going to happen. Experts recommend one week supply of food and water before a collapse. So there you have it, before a collapse, right? So, um, if there is a collapse, some people think, you know what it is, it's a recession, people don't have any money, and unless they scare the hell out of us, we're not spending our money. That's a strong possibility, too. That's not like nothing's happening, that's like something's happening. Okay, so, um... No, let's see. Buy a little extra food just in case. That's like kind of like, that's kind of like the practical approach. So, okay, I have, this is, so I'm doing one week and then I'm doing two weeks, which would constitute three weeks. So I, for some reason, have been packing the food up one week at a time, and I have the biggest mess you can ever imagine. Every once in a while, I go through this with the, um, the food storage, and it takes a long time. So um, here it is. Okay, number one thing, this is for one week, one package of lunch meat, like bologna, or one jar of peanut butter because you can get by on a sandwich one sandwich a day yeah you'll be hungry but you won't starve to death so uh one package of lunch meat or one jar of peanut butter and one loaf of bread so you're going to have a sandwich then for a vegetable buy a couple of cans of potato chips from dollar tree now, when you're stockpiling food, you don't have to go crazy. You just want enough food so you won't starve to death. One large can of fruit. It's not going to be a little lot, but it's going to be a little, and maybe on the seventh day, you're not going to have any fruit. Okay, or one Dollar Tree jam to go on your peanut butter. And then... um so we have a sandwich, potato chips, and uh, a fruit, and a vegetable, and then one, one box of cereal. I bought this cereal for 57 cents, and two shelf-stable milks. So on any of this food, don't buy it if it's something you hate. And then one box of Top Ramen. Yeah, it will be a long week, but you won't starve. This could be oatmeal. This could be almond milk. This could be almonds. You could make your own milk. Okay, so that's the first week. Uh, lunch meat or peanut butter, bread, a large can of fruit, or jam potato chips, 
and uh, tea. I didn't take the tea out. So you'll at least have some tea. So that's week one. And so then I wasn't planning on adding one week. I was planning on the doing the two weeks. And I was planning on making a small box. So, um, so I see this box and I know this is two weeks. Uh, I found this gum on the ground. I thought I'll take that. <laughs> Somebody dropped a package of gum. Okay, so the first thing I will start out with. Okay, so if you don't have if you don't have any uh, much money, one five dollar pizza from Ralph's, and I cut it. It was five dollars on Monday, but it could be about a five dollar pizza at. Um, Walmart or one of the night or one of the discount shops one package of hot dogs so the pizzas four servings I had pizza tonight the hot dogs are four servings 125 get the one with eight one can of tuna uh, a while back I started buying better tuna in case I ever have to eat this stuff and one can of sardines okay I want to mention something about the fish Okay, when I was raised a Mormon, it was Joseph Smith said, what is the true church? So I have been studying life extension, and they said you need, they're finding correlations between incomplete amino acids, which means you need fish. So uh, in the Catholic church, they were told to eat fish every Friday. And so I thought it was because then the fishermen could earn a living. I think that's what I heard. But in the Bible, the one, the two foods Jesus provided was bread and small fishes. So small fishes are less uh, likely to, to uh, contain mercury. And if like you're like me, you might be saying, I don't want to eat fish all the time. I mean, the bodybuilders do it. So once a week. So, um, okay. So uh, this is for two weeks. The pizza's four four servings. The hot dogs four servings. The can the can tuna is one. The can sardines and then five sandwiches from Dollar Tree, or burritos. So they have breakfast burrito, breakfast sandwich, breakfast burritos, hamburgers, chickens, and egg rolls. So that is fifteen there. Let's see what did I do with those. Oh, I threw them on the floor. Here is one. I ate this today. So um, I I like their chicken sandwich. They have a grilled chicken sandwich, and it's cheaper than any place else. So those are the fruits. I mean, those are the meats. And then mark down fruit and vegetable, $1 a bag. So I still have some left. Here it is. I froze some, you saw that. Or go to the food pantry, the churches, or the food banks and get your fruit and vegetables. Then, okay, so here's the meat. Uh, one can of potato soup, because that is good with hot dogs. One can of chili, because that is good with hot dogs. Uh, baked beans. Okay, a uh, one small potato, bag of potatoes, one, one of these packages of rice. This is going to give you more than enough food for two weeks. A package of spaghetti. Now, I buy multiples of these, and so I have plenty to separate in my boxes. Uh, one box of Parmesan cheese, one package of Top Ramen and one package of macaroni and cheese. So I have plenty of these uh, rice, pasta, you know, beans. And so this is actually, this way you're not over buying. If you don't want to eat these for dinner, just eat them for lunch 
or just throw them in the back of the closet. They didn't cost you much. And then if we have some kind of emergency, you've got food sufficient so that you can live. And then so you need uh, water, food, and shelter. And with these top ramens or these canned foods, you can also add cheese, mushrooms, and olives. So let me give you a shot of the, or I mean any, it can be any kind of beans, it can be any kind of rice, it can be any kind of pasta you like. Macaroni and cheese is good. Macaroni and cheese gives you a little dairy. So that is what you call keeping it simple. Uh, let me make sure you guys can see this. Uh, my camera is getting old, so the um, I can't tell. That's why my lists are a little bit off. Okay, so now, so we had nothing's going to happen. Something's going to happen, like inflation, but it's not going to kill us. Something bad's going to happen, or something bad, bad is going to happen. Like, okay, here's the bad stuff that could possibly happen. Bombs, like in warfare, uh, power outages, and remember, if you're under attack, the outage will come pre before the attack. Now, another thing, it depends where you live. Like, I live 30 miles from downtown San Diego, and I live in the hills. Uh, food shortages, water shortages, foreign or domestic uh, terrorism, that is actually our number one threat. Uh, targeting critical infrastructure, like the Coronado Bridge. Um, expansion of existing more cyber attacks, crimes or ransoms. We've seen some of those big ransoms in Las Vegas. Economy attacks like foreign investors pulling all the money out or people getting spooked and pulling all their money out of the economy or the stock market. Climate change, narcotics trafficking and health security like the COVID. So now, Okay, so now they have this thing. If I was stockpiling for an emergency, I wouldn't do this, but it's the Coleman method. Five vegetables, four fruits, three proteins, two sauces or spreads, and one grain. I wouldn't do that, but you can put that in the back of your mind. Beans, rice, and plant a garden. That's for bad, bad. Yeah, I would do that one. The Oslo diet, two slices of wheat bread, a chunk of and butter, a chunk of cheese, a glass of milk, three small vegetables, or one fruit. Okay, so now as practically speaking, the thing to do would be buy a little extra of whole grains, canned goods, nuts or seeds, beans, lentils, vegetable fruit, dairy products, and meat. So, um, that is just a little video on maybe just buy, a, like if you find the cereal for 57 cents. At this point now, um, I think the ba bigger danger is the recessions that I've been through. Uh, people really started to run out of money. So this is probably the time to uh, curtail spending. So I'm going through everything and I am looking for every way to slash spending. So that is what I am doing. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.